makeup time. I'm doing Jackie's makeup today. We're using, she, we use a, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, where are we? Focus. It's a L'Oreal uh, Lumiere foundation, so it's a light foundation. Um, we don't tend to use powder on Jackie because it's a bit wide, it's a bit flat. I put it on the wrong side of my arm, that's not good. Um, I just squeeze someone to the back of my hand. And I always work in a downward motion, down her face, because the hair on your face runs down. You push it up, you're gonna have a fluffy face, and we ain't dogs. Just your typical foundation brush, not very exciting. Enjoy the one direction in the background if you're a, um, if you're a directioner, like we both are. Here we go. You don't need a whole lot. Because you keep brushing, a lot of it will just brush out. See how I'm working, I don't know if you can see, I'm working in a downward motion. Oh my god, it's like, it's like I'm just patting her face. She's prepped her skin like 10 seconds before this video was made. Um, she just put some foundation on there. It'll help foundation. Just put moisturizer on it. Hey. It will help the foundation stick. And um, hopefully it won't make her face too shiny. Fingers crossed. She's done her hair. I do my foundation differently. I use a different type of foundation, but we can go through that later. I've already applied it because I was bored earlier, so I decided to do it early. But um, I can just do a quick demo of that later. She's a very good um, makeup prodigy. She sits there very quietly. Make sure you get under the eyes. You don't want to kind of like. My number one rule always blend! My god! I cannot tell you how much I hate people who don't blend and you get that really nice defined line under your jaw. And enjoy some of my really good singing. Oh. As in my chip it up. I can't to get it in her lovely hair that she's already done. We've got to um, a lot of concerts this year between Jackie and myself. I've gone to, I think this is my sixth one. This is Jackie's third. One Direction, Ed Sheeran, and this one. Am I right? Yep, yep, go. Tilt, tilt, yep. Um, it just happens to be a concert year. Ed was really good. He was amazing. It's a lot of standing up. He was all back up. So, so you can't see, but my head's probably in the way. It's just the same, just brushing downwards. Oh, you can't see, but she's rolling her eyes at me. I'm doing her makeup, she's rolling her eyes at me. I'll give you up. Um, I won't blend. That's give me cake face. I'll give you cake face. This is how I threaten. This is how um. This is how I threaten her. FYI, I am not a makeup artist of any kind. I'm not even in the fashion or makeup world. You're just super talented. <laughs> but apparently, I'm super talented. Thank you. I do enjoy it, and um. It seems just kind of works out. Don't scratch your forehead at me. <laughs> she doesn't need a lot of coverage. Just my little peach. It gets red sometimes. I don't know why I call you a peach, but no, you're a peach now. Well, I think you called me that song like that. Yeah, well, I could have put it worse. I'm pretty sure I called you worse. Yeah. Was I drunk? Oh, cool. I'm just a horrible person. Just tilt your head up. So make sure you blend all the way. Your face doesn't stop at your chin, okay? It goes all the way down, so just blend all the way down. I'll have to, the light's not great in here, but because it's still light outside, it's not too bad. Mustache? <laughs> Don't laugh. Put it <laughs> My bad. Alright, turn your eyes. Alright, face the camera. That's her foundation done. She's blue because the wall behind us is blue. <laughs> right, next. Next, bronzer. She's got a lot of bronzer. Um, I don't know why. We're using. You can see that. Nude, that's backwards, but it does say nude as in like you're naked. 
Um, I use a Chanel one, but nude tends to quite suit Jackie quite well. I don't have my Chanel one because I always tend to forget my blush. So I just get Jackie to slap me on the face on both sides again. Nice rosy glow. Thank you very much. All right, you don't need a lot. Suck your cheeks in. See this? She's pouting. That is how you get. Yeah, yeah. I'll see. She's such. She's such a good preteen for me. Ready? All right. Are you just gonna brush up? Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna brush up. I'm gonna have to brush it out because it's quite um, it's quite pigmented, so it's making her look quite um, bronzed in the cheeks here. Bit too bronzed. Bit too bronzed. Oh dear. <laughs> She's fine. I'm just kidding. Excuse me. Where are my where are my preteen cheeks? She sucks at this. <laughs> Terrible example you are. Okay. <laughs> you can't do it well, laugh. <laughs> Apparently I make a laugh. Anyway. But it gives you a nice, like, cheekbone. You know how people spend, like, they do, like, funny patterns and get contouring? This is a lot easier, and you don't have to spend 30,000 years to look like Kim Kardashian. So just brush up. There's a lot of brush on the side, though. Three is one of my favourite bits. Um, eyeliner. I'm using... It's a Napoleon, it's called brown sugar. I don't tend to use black a lot. I find it really, um, like, in your face. I find brown's a bit softer, and I'm using, it's actually an eyeshadow, one of those eyeshadow ones you get, just to, um, just smudge it out. So if you don't, don't worry if it's your, like, it's not perfect, you can just smudge it out, and you'll be fine. So, boy, close your eyes. Don't pull the corner, see how people tend to do this? They'll pull the corner of their eye. You don't have to do that. You just, if I'm resting my hand on the top of her head, I get a good angle and just hold her face and I work in, so I work from the outside in. It's different for everyone, whatever suits you, but I've always done this. I've been doing Jackie's makeup actually for a few years now. Oh, and make sure your eyeliner tip's always pointy. No one likes a um, blunt one. Just open your eyes for me. Good. Close. Once again, I do mine differently. I've got extensions, so I find it really hard to get a pencil right on my eyelash line. So I tend to use a liquid, which I didn't bring with me today. So I'll, I'll attempt it, and I'll just blend it in with um, some eyeshadow. So just work on the other side. Sorry if I'm in the way of the camera, but I do need to get at this angle. How you doing, Jay? Good. Good. The hardest one will always be the bottom line. All right, open your eyes. Okay, not to move. Who are you? Yep. All right, close. I'm just gonna smudge it now. And just so I can get that, like that smoky effect. I think we're gonna end up doing a smoky eye with for Jackie with a pink sort of lip. I wish I could pull pink off. I can't, I look like a clown. So I spend all my girliness on her because I'm not very girly. I don't wear pink, I wear a lot of black, a lot of grey and a lot of white. So I live vicariously through her. Fantastic. Open your eyes for me. Cool, please. You can always touch it up at the end, depending on how dark or how light you want it. It's always a bit of, you kind of just have to play. I've tried a lot of different um, looks on Jackie. We did a really cool, um, remember the purple? I think it was our second year uni, so I'm out of uni. This is my first year out of uni. So it was about two years ago. I did a really cool purple, a ombre purple eyeshadow on her, which was a lot of fun. There is a photo somewhere. We'll see if I can, we can find it. We'll post it either on our Instagram or on um, our page, even our Twitter. Can I try something? It, was, it turned out really, really great. She has really long lashes, so just load up on the mascara. Right, open your eyes. So I'm gonna do the under. Get it on the waterline, don't get it under, you, then you look kind of creepy. So get whoever you're doing to look up, or you have to look up. Don't do it all the way in, do it halfway. And it is hard because they do have the urge to blink. 
inside. I'm sorry. Alright. And then I'll do soften it out. You can blend it down to the um Alright. Have a look at the see that? That is the beginning of probably smoky eye. Looks pretty good there. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we've moved on to eyeshadow. I'm using it's a limited edition, it's Chanel. I do love a Chanel product. I find they work really well. Most of mine are Chanel except for my foundation, which I'm currently using a brand that I can't remember at the moment. But um, I do like the Bobbi Brown um, press powder, which is really good as well. So that's they're the colours we're using because she's got uh, purple on her short, so we're gonna just try and match that. So when I do what I might do, I always like to set a white sort of base. So it's just another Chanel one. Just that one there. Just so when you apply colour onto it, it does stand out. So you know when you put on eyeshadow and you're like, oh, it's not the colour you thought it was? Put a, a white base under it and you'll find if I can get the uh, whoop, the plastic casing off. There we go. You'll find it will stand out a lot more. Right, place. You don't really have to be that precise with it. I mean, because obviously over the whole lid, make sure it's even. So because you're blending everything, it's not a huge deal. Just like that. That's all it is. All right. Next step. Lighter colors on the inside, darker colors on the outside. So. We will start with, that one's a bit light, we want to do these two here. Then I want to do, try and do a gold down the bottom, or open her eyes up a little bit. Because her eyes aren't big enough. Lucky thing. Alright, pulse. Just obviously just over the lid. A smoky eye can take some time to build, depending on what colours you're using, so just be patient. Getting warm in here. Open your eyes for me. Always get them to open their eyes so you can see what the shading's like. Cool, close. So I've moved on to the darker side now. Welcome to the dark side. Um, I'm I'm really good at dad jokes. My boyfriend is terrible at them. Once upon a time there was a netball named um, Kate Beveridge, then he asked me, are you thirsty? Yeah. Yeah, Jack is trying really hard not to laugh right now. Yeah, she's got that face on. So I'm just starting from the out, like the outer half of the eyelid and just blending up to sort of around here. Nice shot of my tattoos there. Um, I was hung over when I got one of them, but I did purposely intend to go back and get the second one. I want to convince Jackie to get one with me one day. One day, we don't know when, but I will get there. She'll actually face me. Does your nice having someone do your makeup for you, Jackie? I do like doing for other people's makeup. It's I find it very therapeutic. Then that light colour I was talking about, just under the brow line. Doesn't need to be a whole lot, just smooth it over. They do give you matching colours on a palette for a reason, and it's to use all those colours. Don't worry if you don't get it the first time. I, it's a lot of trial and error. Open. Just relax your face. Yep. Like open, but don't scrunch up your. Cool. So if Jackie just looks in the mirror real quick, see that we'll get a closer look later. But I'm just gonna bring it down under here a little bit with um, the lighter of the two colours. 
So yeah, look up. I might actually. That's a bit of a fat brush, that one there. That's your blending brush. You want an angled brush. Something like this, or even more angled. See if I can find one. See if I roll off screen and almost kill myself. If you use an angled brush, you'll get a sh like a sharper line, which is what you kind of want. So you just go under their lashes and just run it along the same sort of length as um, where you did your eyeliner. And then that lighter colour on the inside. It doesn't take very long to do. Um, obviously, it's a bit faster if someone else does it for you. But honestly, this is so easy to do by yourself. Over the course of our channel, I'll show you a few more different looks. I don't even think she needs the gold in there. I might just put some of the white stuff. I'm actually sitting on a gym ball right now. My butt's kind of sweaty. Next, eyebrows. Jackie is using a Revlon colour stay. She just asked me if I knew how to do eyebrows. I'm offended. <laughs> Here we go. Not very hard. Very lightly. You don't want to have your eyebrows drawn on. So work from the inside out. Just very carefully. Just trace the, um, the shape of the, the natural brow on each side. I'd like to bring it down a little bit more. Because then you can brush it out with the brush that they do provide at the end of the uh, brow brush. Thank you! Brow brush. And then obviously just brush it out. Brush it out. Work it. I like this one. I don't have to talk. Okay? Yeah, she can actually talk on this one. The other one she can't, she's afraid to talk. Some people like a really defined brow. I like a softer brow. I find it quite harsh if a girl has really defined brows. And Jackie's got quite dark brows already. Unlike me, not super defined. They're there. If you look really closely. But if I'm sweaty, they're invisible. And I'm a sweaty person. I work out a lot. Got a sweaty hug? I'm hot right now. I'm sweating. This is hard work. It's easy if they have got good shaped brows like Jackie does. It's really easy just to trace them. Her brow game is strong these days. Her brow game is strong. That is it. Easy. Done. The brow. Um, my favourite part, lips. Everyone celebrate. Yay! We all lips, want lips, lips, lips. We all want a kiss worthy lip. Um, I've got really dry lips, so I use it's a lush um, lip scrub. It's made of sugar and it tastes like bubble gum. It's delicious. And then I put a lip balm. I've got one. I normally use a Nivea or a pawpaw cream. If there is a pawpaw, it's floating around somewhere. It tastes like guava though. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Always prep your lips. I've given up on the ball. So just a loose powder. Check it out. Close your lips. You just brush it over the lips. Yeah. Just to get rid of any excess moisture that will tend to make it slime. I haven't actually decided on no colour yet, so I'll do that in a minute. So you just brush over. That's all you need. Snob. Jackie's anything but a snob, but this is a really good colour on it. I didn't even realise that was called snob. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I just looked at it just then. Um, it had a prettier name than snob. We used to... I don't know if anyone's did this, but you tried to match like your lip liner and your lipstick. It costs a lot of money. You've got to buy two. Um, Sephora created this amazing thing called... It's like a universal lip liner. It's a clear one. So you don't have to... You can just put it on, throw your colour over the top. Fantastic. I love this. So... You just line the lips like you would normally. It's quiet. It's weird because you don't actually see any colour going on. It's literally it. And then, um, I always use lip brush. Much softer look, a lot easier to control. So something like this. This is the colour I use on Jackie for her 21st birthday. Looked fantastic. I did. We did choose a colour together. Um, use it as an eye, like a, an eyeliner, a lip liner. So you trace the outside of her lips first, which is what I'm gonna do here. 
it's quite a natural colour, so um, it's not, it's very hard to stuff up in this one. When you, if you do a dark colour or bright colour, like a red, a fuchsia, if you go out of the lines, yeah. Zane didn't think he was going to go abroad. Uh, oops, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just made it laugh. Make sure you always go straight right into the corners. Nothing like a smile, and you've got your lipstick kind of ending here. Very good. Too bad I missed your lip. It's got the corner of her mouth. With a with a colour like this, you can always add um like a gloss over the top, like a stiller gloss that I rave about. Just make sure it's not windy because it gets stuck in your hair. That's just a recipe for disaster. That's right, so I've just done her bottom lip. I'm just looking on the top one now. We're almost there. Hopefully the iPod. Oh yeah, the iPod's almost running flat, so um you can tell we're really prepared for this video. We're not very prepared people. I mean, got that. Get them to pout, then you can fill in any cracks or gaps. You can define your line a little bit more. Smile. Get them to smile, and then just just keep brushing it in. Especially if you don't have an extremely pigmented lipstick. It might take a while for the colour to show up. This one's, it's not too bad, it's probably, it's probably somewhere in the middle. Um, darker colours tend to be more pigmented, then you've got your really light ones. MAC are pretty good, uh, this, is, this is a MAC, obviously a MAC lipstick. Um, I'll be using a Chanel one, which I will show you in a moment. Alright, that is it. That is pink lips, done!